Hey, what is up you girls? And welcome to a video of my most anticipated movies of 2015. So right now I got a top 10 list, but before that, I want to get to some honorable mentions. Let's start off with Inside Out, an animation, Pixar animation film that will be coming out next year. It's supposed to be really funny and I've heard a lot of good things about it. So we'll see when that comes out. Also Chappie, the new Neil Blomkamp film with I believe Hugh Jackman's in it as like a villain. And then you got, um, I forgot the actor's name and can't come to me, but he's playing Chappie. But he's that uh, South African guy. And you got The Martian starring Matt Damon also coming out and straight out of Compton. It kind of intrigues me a little bit about yeah, NWA. So yeah, that's pretty good. Tomorrowland saw a preview of that. Looks intriguing. George Clooney looks like he's in it. The trailer gets me a little. The Man from Uncle with Henry Cavill and uh, I forgot the actor's name from the Lone Ranger, the horrible Lone Ranger film. Yeah, he's in it. So yeah, the, I don't know much about that movie, but we'll see how that goes. Ted 2, sequel to Ted, which was very funny. Seth MacFarlane voicing the teddy bear, of course. Ted, that's, yeah, it was a very funny movie back a year ago. So, and also Kingsman, the secret service with Colin Firth. They got this new kid I don't know the name of. Samuel Jackson playing the villain. This movie has a lot of personality. Comes out in February. Matthew Vaughn is directing. He directed X-Men First Class. So, yeah, it looks pretty good, and I can't wait for that movie to come out. So, yeah, I gotta get to my top 10 now. So, number 10, we got Fast and Furious 7. Actually, it's called Furious 7, and the late Paul Walker's last film, I believe. And that's why I really anticipate this movie. I really like the last Fast and Furious movies. I mean, I even liked, like, the Fast and Furious 2 and Tokyo Drift back in those days. They're, like, guilty pleasures, but... Yeah, the last couple from Fast Five and on have been really, really excellent. I mean, really, really good. And I'm looking forward to this movie a lot. So, can't wait that comes out. So, yeah, that's a number 10. Number 9, The Hateful Eight, Quentin Tarantino's next film. Comes out in December, I believe. He may move it back. So, hopefully, it comes out next year. But, yeah, still a cast indeed. Yeah, I think you got Kurt Russell in it, Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, I believe uh, Bruce Dern is also in it. I'm trying to think who else. I uh, forget. Maybe Jennifer Lawrence is in it. I'm not sure. But I know it was a leaked script. But The Hateful Eight really sounds intriguing. It is, I mean, it is a Quentin Tarantino movie. So really, you can't go much wrong with Quentin Tarantino. And that's why I'm looking forward to this. A, t a Western made by Miami. Yeah, I dove into that with Django a little bit. I mean, it was kind of a slavery Western movie. But... Yeah, Hateful Eight is going to be really good, and I'm, yeah, I can't wait for that. So number eight now, eight, we have Mocking J Part 2. Yes, I saw Part 1, I thought it was good. Waiting in November to see this one, and I think it's going to be really good. I mean, I actually thought like the Part 1 was good, even though not a lot of action in it. But I thought uh, a lot of dramatic acting that was really good by Jennifer Lawrence, and I think it is going to be really good. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. I have not read the book, so I'll be surprised what happens in the movie. So yeah, so let's go with number seven. Dun 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 Yes, number seven, Jurassic World. Chris Pratt riding a motorcycle with a gang of raptors. They have this new dinosaur that they created and yes, they're going to try to hunt that down because it's probably going to be feeding on people in the park. And that's a crowded park as you saw in the trailer. Also, Bryce Dallas Howard's in it. B.D. Wong returns to the Jurassic Park franchise. And yeah, I'm really can't wait for this movie and looks pretty good. Trailers got me hooked a little bit. So yeah, anytime you return to Isla Nublar, it's going to have my attention. So yeah, Jurassic World number seven on my list. Let's go number six. Tom Cruise returns in Mission Impossible 5. So yeah, Mission Impossible 4, Ghost Protocol was fantastic. Yeah, had uh, a climbing in the to tallest tower in Dubai. That was pretty epic. I saw it in IMAX. And I believe Jeremy Renner returns. And, oh, I forgot his name. 
the one from the first three Fast and Furious, or not Fast, I mean Mission Impossible movies. That Ving Rhames, he's returning, and I believe Simon Pegg is gonna be in as well. So really good cast, and yeah, Mission Impossible Five. Tom Cruise still an actor star. He's like above 50 years old. So yeah, he's even like from like 50 years old. He's really good because last like you got last summer, which we had uh, Live Die Repeat or whatever. It was like uh, what was the movie? Did with Emily Blunt, but that was a really good surprise. So I. Yeah, came up for this movie, number six on my list. So let's go to number five. Let's enter the Marvel Universe with Ant-Man. Paul Rudd is in it as Scott Lang. You got Hank Pym played by Michael Douglas, Evangeline Lilly, Corey Stoll is playing the villain. And yes, Ant-Man, oh man, I was a little shaky when Edgar Wright left because he's a fantastic director, but clearly Marvel wasn't really feeling his style of movie. And I think they really want to be coherent in the Marvel Universe, so maybe it was a smart move by them. And Evangeline Lilly, she said it was like, it's on the right track. So I really anticipate this movie. Ant-Man, a guy shrinks down to Ant, but has the power of a human, or maybe even more powerful. Yeah, I can't wait for that. It's gonna, it's gonna be like, honey, I shrunk the kids. Only, honey, I shrunk this guy, and he still can beat you up. So whatever. So, yeah, number five, Ant-Man. Coming up after the Avengers. And let's go to number four. It is Spectre, the new 007. Villains in this movie. Christoph Waltz and Dave Bautista. Andrew Scott is also in it from Sherlock. Of course, Daniel Craig's returning. And the returning guys like Ray Fiennes as the new M. And yeah, you got Q, of course, Money Penny, the actor is returning there. So Spectre, gonna go back into that from the older movies. And will Christoph Waltz, whose character is named Oberhauser in the description, but yeah, is he going to play Blowfield? We'll see. I mean, hopefully he does, because he'll be a stellar Blowfield, hopefully, so can't wait for that. Next November, it's going to be come here quickly. They're going to restart filming, and it's going to come out <laughs> next November. So, let's go to my top three. At, at three, at Mad Max Fury Road. Holy crap, I wasn't probably going to have this on my top 10 list, but now I do because that trailer blew me away. It was like an old style trailer. Tom Hardy, he's gonna kill it as Mad Max. I have not even seen the Mad Max movies and he's gonna kill it. And also Charlie Theron is in it. And you have Nicholas Hall playing this kind of creepy guy. So yeah, it looks just wonderful. The trailer is just, looks wonderful. George Miller directed the last, I guess the other three is returning. So I think he knows what he's doing with this one. And he has the te technology to do it with. So, yeah, Mad Max. Looking forward to this. It's three on my list. So, number two. Yeah, the runner-up. Avengers Age of Ultron. Yes, Avengers Age of Ultron looks much darker than any Marvel film that's come yet. And, of course, it looks much darker than Captain America. Really much darker than the first Avengers. Ultron, baddest villain, it looks like. Going to be played by James Spader. Yeah, I uh, mean, I can't wait for these cast of heroes come back and like try to fight them together. Maybe we'll see some like casualties, whatever. But it's gonna be like killer movie. I can't wait for to see that in May, I believe. So Avengers: Age of Ultron, run around. Nothing much I can say about this, but I can't wait. So let's get on my number one. And number one on my list, I have Paul Blart Mall Cup too. No, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, it's Star Wars, of course. Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Are you kidding me? Wow, I mean, can't wait. I can't see much about this movie because I already said much, but I can't wait. I mean, that trailer looks so practical, looks so good. You gotta saw the other cast. I mean, boy, I mean, I'm a huge Star Wars fan and it's gonna be so great. I can't wait for next December. I mean, oh man, the anticipation. I mean, Everyone's gonna have a number one on the list probably for most anticipated movies of 2015. And I can't wrap my head right around this. Oh man, I can't wait. So, yes, yeah, Star Wars The Force Awakens. You have the first turning cast returning. And Harrison Ford, Hamill, and Carrie Fisher. And boy, and seeing that Millennium Falcon again in the trailer was so awesome. So, man. Uh, Number one of my list, Star Wars A Force Awakens. It is gonna be so killer, I can't wait. So, to recap, my 10 most anticipated movies of 2015 
My dogs are barking in the background. But I got 10, Furious 7, 9, The Hateful 8, 8, Mockingjay Part 2, 7, Jurassic World, 6, Mission Impossible, 5, Ant-Man, 4, Spectre, the new 007 movie. You got 3, Mad Max Fury Road, 2, The Avengers Age of Ultron, and 1, of course, is Star Wars, The Force Awakens. So, those dogs won't even shut up, so I gotta go and get them. So, hope you like my list of the most anticipated movies of 2015. And, yeah, tell me down below what your list is and who, what movies do you anticipate the most. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I mean, these movies are going to be fantastic, I hope. There's probably going to be disappointments there. Hopefully not. So, yeah, so you can check out the rest of my channel for more movie, TV reviews, and also trailer reviews and stuff. So, until next time, you folks. I will see you goons later. I am 